Hello and welcome back again, my friend, to the Bitcoin price prediction or Bitcoin forecast or BTC price prediction. This is Thomas with you again. We came back in another video. And as every time, if you are a long term trader, stick with us only here in the daily and weekly. If you are a swing trader, go to the four hours. If you are a scalper and day trader, in 30 minutes. And all the timelines, they are down in the description of that video. So choose which time frame you want depending on your trading style so let's start our lesson of today by the way you yes you are you not yet subscriber my friend why make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn the bell notification on to receive all our latest updates it's not something hard my friend just a red button down click at it next to it a bell turn it to all so like that when we put in a new video you're going to be notified or you can even join us in telegram if you want to be notified more quicker than here in youtube the link of our telegram is it in the first comment you done it welcome to the family Tom. Let's start it now. As you see here, that the weekly candle is finished here. As you see it, that one is very bad news, guys. But I'm going to show you why it's not that bad in that video. So make sure to watch all the video if you want to be informed about what the Bitcoin is going to do all the week. So as you see here, some people, they call it the golden cross. Some people, me, I just call it the moving average cross. Over here, that one here, that red one is the 50. And that blue one here, it's the 200 moving average. As you see it here, it just crossed today. Look at that here. I do it that indicator me, I got it here. When it crossed, it give me here that plus. As you see it, it just crossed today. So that one is something very bad, guys. And it's never happened in the history of the Bitcoin. It's never happened in the history of Bitcoin. The 50 moving average crossed below the 200 moving average. It's never. Today is a historical day, guys. Today is a very, very, very historical day. And you live it. It's never happened. Look at it. Even if we came and we're doing all that, look at it. You came back to the first days of the Bitcoin. It's never happened. It's never crossed below. It came to it here that time. But now us today, we cross him below. That's the first time. And that's what it's telling us where and which moment us we live in now. So over here, what's going to happen, guys? Over here in that zone, what's going to happen? Either the market from here is going to go up and to break and that one is going to break upward because every time we touch it it's been a very good time to buy and me i show you all those things before let me show it to you again i show you we got here a wage in the weekly and that wage here is getting broke as you see it but look what the market done here it went up till here now either from here is going to give us here a pin bar in that level here that one here the small level here then after that we'll go in upward or another scenario from here is going to go back to touch the lower here even that one it's possible that way me i told the people they being with me in the start where we started that youtube channel i told them me i got a, a pending order at 12k if the market fall down there i'm going to buy that's it like how i used to have one here at 15k when the market just touches it's getting triggered so tell now i am in profit now i don't care where's the market will go and here the people they've been with us for some time what else we said here we got we said we got here in the top a very stronger level and down here a very stronger level and that fake out will give us here the one we said if that one came and breaking the last high here and do it like that and continue it is going to give us a very well known pattern of wake up it was very clear here and we are very near but tell now it's not yet so now what is it the bitcoin is showing to us it's showing to us is it falling down that's it that's the only thing and let me tell you what my hope this week is going to happen for me to thinking the market is going to reverse upward so let's go in to see the coming news for all the week so let's go in there here we are that the news which is coming all that week as you see it what we got we got very 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 important news in tuesday 14 february it's the love day or valentine day or some valentine's day me i don't celebrate in those things but uh I, my advice to you even you you got a a wife don't celebrate those things because what we said here in the 14 it's coming at 1.30 GMT time, the CPI of USA or inflation of USA. As you see here, invest in the first 
forecast of them is 6.2 now we are 6.5 if the inflation fall down guys more you're going to see the bitcoin and everything going up and us dollar started falling down you need to be careful about that day remember it look at that here just focus it with me here what me i'm saying here is it here at tuesday 14 february yes or no let me zoom it for you for picture to get more clear to you look at it here what you seeing it's going to come here at 1 30 gmt yes or no it's going to come the cpi of usa so you need to be careful about those things it will not be for this month it's going to be for january but it's the same thing it's the cpi it's going to come a lot of things like retail sales but those ones all the week and also we come into you day by day and here in the table of us what else we got here? What else we got here, guys? Look with me here. US stocks weekly open for some stocks to be it's being green. For some stocks, it's being red, as you see it. For the SP, it's being green. For Dow Jones, it's green. But for the Nasdaq, is it red? So, but all that it will change. We need to wait in tomorrow what the market is going to tell us on Tuesday. And here, our friend is the VEX. That one is the scarness measurement. Also, we're looking at it every day. What it telling us here? Also, we go back above 20. That my scarness is go back to the market because people tell now they are scared of what is coming. It's coming retail sales. It's coming CPI. It's coming building permit. Those ones, they are the most important thing. So that what the Fed is going to base his decision in the next meeting. So here, scarness is go back again. Plus here, the dollar index, it's where we left it in friday it's 103 so there is nothing change here i think picture is too clear to you guys so you need to remember those things in tuesday 14 february 2023 at 1 30 gmt time change it to your local time no matter where you are it's going to come the cpi of usa if it came below then that 6.2 you're going to see a big jump in the bitcoin and you need to remember that everything is too clear now let's go into the daily to see what the bitcoin doing right now in the daily so it's going there here we are in the daily here in the daily what else we said by the way us here in the daily we still with long term traders or long term investment you need to remember those things what else we said here in the daily in the last video what me i told you i told you the view for professional people they say in the bitcoin it will not break in 20k us people they be in with me what else we do we used to have here an inside bar here exactly that candle here and we've been waiting the break to happen for weeks yes or no if you've been with us go now and smash in that like button please you done it thank you very much we said we've been waiting here that break to happen here it came here it's getting broke also we enter short that's it that's what else we said now here it's showing here as if the market it's slowing down here and what else we got here in that level here let me show you look at that what you got here here look at it what we got there we got here that trend line it's being touched here and now the market is showing here as if it's going to reject again yes or no now what should we do now here when we touch that trend line here now either from here is going to go back and to break for us the last high and also we will enter long again or another scenario from here because tell now it's showing here an indecision candle. That candle which is going now, that one we do it like that. His name indecision candle. Look at that here. Look here with me. You see it or no? That candle here, that one, that red one who finished today. That one, his name indecision candle. That one, what it meant? It meant both of them, buyers and sellers, they are equal here. No one pushing higher. No one want to push lower. No one to want to take the risk. Let's make it like that. Now, either the Bitcoin from here is going to fall down again. And it fall down till here to touch for us the 200 moving average. And also we got another level here. Look at it. Or... From here, it's going to go higher. That two lines, also we got that one here and that one here. What else we said about them? People, they've been with us. What else we said? We said we got that level here at 24k. That where is the cover calls. And we got a level here at 20k. That where is the naked pot. Or people, they sell in the pot. In options, also we're talking here about options. I know if you don't be in trading options, those world me I'm saying like cover calls. As my people here they selling the calls. People they buying the Bitcoin from down. If it reach to 24k, that the take profit of them. That let's make it like that for normal people. Over here, people they selling all pots. If the Bitcoin came here. 
then they are ready to buy the bitcoin at 20k if the bitcoin stay in here those people here they are going to collect in premium and those ones they are going to collect in premium that the another story in the options those things is a little bit complicated you need to be in in that world for some time and we got also a course in our udemy profile you can go to it it will explain all those things to you everything is too clear here in the daily now let's go into the four hours to see what is it there for pictures to get more clear to you so let's go in there there we are in the four hours here in the four hours it's only for wing trading yes you are right Plus what we said here we said we got here a megaphone we've been waiting for some time me and the people they've been follow me here i'm talking about the old people they've been following me we've been waiting that break here to happen when it's getting break i put a video and i tell it to them in my telegram channel that way me at um I advise you always to or join us in Telegram. When it just break in there, I put it there in my Telegram channel and even here in YouTube uh, community tab, I put it, I put a picture, I told people it just break in here, inter short. What happened here? It came down to all here, it's breaking for us the 200 moving average. What it done today, look at it, it came here, look at it, let me show it to you and to zoom it a little bit for picture to get more clear to you. Look here what it done. What you see? It came down here, it's breaking, it try here to push up, it came, it touched in here, here the 200 moving average what it's showing here a big rejection then it fall down then over here those people they pushing down they take profit because that asian market that's how they work in majority of them they are scalpers and day traders they are not long-term investors now what the view for that one what it's showing to us here it's showing to us there is no power to break in the 200 moving average and it's going to continue it falling down and what me i told you people being with us just in the last video what me i told you i told you us we got here a downtrend yes or no and that told you you can even make like that a wage like that yes or no i told you if that one came if you haven't entered with us from here if it came here and break a lower here you can enter more short and it's going to continue it down that a scenario second scenario what is it that one from here to change and to go up and to break for us up here if it's breaking up here me and the people they enter with me short and us we put in the stop loss of us here in the top of that peak here at 23k if the bitcoin came and break in here us we're going to enter long and we will close in our short that's it if a four hour candle came like that the market came and break in here it said that tuesday the news it came very positive then the market came and break in here us we're going to close in the short and we're going to open a long order here that's it everything is too clear so now here in the four hours what should you do you wait that's it. That's the only thing I can tell you. Look with me how I draw the trend line. You came to that peak, that one here and that one here. And you connecting them by a line. And you came down here to that one here. And you do it like that. You got here a way. You see it or no? You can even make it from here if you want. Like that. If that one came and break in here, you enter short. If it go up and break in here you enter long that for people they haven't entered people they've been with me also we enter from here short until now also we stay in profit the market is still falling down because also we're breaking here the 200 moving average down in the weekly the 50 moving average is breaking down so us what's it's left now holding the bitcoin from don't fall down is the daily trend line we're being broken like that we need to see if it's going to go higher and to break more higher or it's going to fall down again and it's going to give us just a fake breakout everything is too clear now it's going to see our indicator what it's saying today so it's going there our indicator was me i told you we got here a divergence trend line because we being followed it now when it came here it was very close to touch it and by the way touch it just when that red candle fall down it falling down here because me i've been with the market all the whole day be looking at it now what should we do now either from here is going to come back to touch it here and after that it's going to fall down to the oversold area and also we will not buy till it give us here a divergence and a price action or another scenario that want to come and to break here that level here and to come out from the bears control to bulls control that's how us we trade over here the bears will control and the bears if you are new with you trading the bears is the people they want the bitcoin to fall down the bulls is the people they thinking the bitcoin it will go more higher that's it for so us over here in that level we be in the bulls who controlling here now we enter to the bears who controlling now uh, it man us we are now in a downtrend that's it it's very simple and easy like that everything is too clear here now it's going to sell other indicator what it's saying that one here us we've been waiting here all along us we enter from down here people they've been with us from 17k 
Tell here. Yes or not? Now here, we be in here at the overboard area. So us we be looking here for a short opportunity. It came to us here that megaphone we used to have here. And I show you the same thing that megaphone. People have been with us. I show it to you. But it's okay to repeat it because I know some people they just found our channel now. What me have been talking about that megaphone here. I told you remember the day of FTX collapse. We used to have here a megaphone. Same thing we used to have it here. It's the same thing. Our indicator. The day of FTX, it used to be at the overboard area. That time, our indicator is being here at the overboard area. Same thing. Now, here, our indicator is entered here to the oversold area. Should we buy now? Not yet, my friend. We don't got any price action here indicating for us as we need to buy. Us, we just break in here the 200 moving average down. Yes, our indicator is here at the oversold area, but that one is just an oscillator. It entered here to the overbought area from 17k till 24k. So that one is just... Our oscillator, we don't need to follow it. Level, yes, we are in a very stronger supply and demand zone. Should we buy? No, even the level that one just align us we put it. What we need? A price action because the price action it stay here. You, you see me how I just show you the day of FTX. And if you want me to show you all the price actions we've been talking about them here in the channel, I can show it to you. Like now here we got that megaphone here. It's going to change. No, it's going to stay here. It will never change. Even if you came after 30 years, 20 years, it's going to stay there. Same thing now. Us we wait in here. That break here to happen in that wage us we have here if that one came and breaking up here we will enter long if it doesn't there is no entry long us we still waiting look at it how i draw it if it came and breaking here we enter long again everything is too clear now let's go into 30 minutes to see what bitcoin doing today in 30 minutes for scalpers and day traders so let's go in there here we are in 30 minutes over here is only for yes you are right for scalpers and day traders you need to remember that what else we said about that we used to have here a small channel here is getting broke here we enter long yes or no that's what me i've been telling you we enter long here for us to enter short in the last video what may i do here i came with will like that i told you if a candle came and break in here us we're going to enter short did it break yes lock my at it now also we're breaking here the people they need to enter short they can enter short now i'm talking here just about scalpers top lose of you you put it here and what we used to have here in the last video we used to have here a trend line like that in the last video we'll be in here i told you try to protect yourself but the market is showing to us it's going till the 200 moving average but also we enter from here we enter till here and people they follow me they couldn't even give the video a like if you get in the information my friend please give the video a like we'll not lose nothing now here look at the market what it give you here you got here a trend line like that we came to that dot that one that one here and that one here are we connecting those dots and we're making a line over here the market is breaking down now us we need to enter short and we put in the stop loss of us here why should we enter short let me show you why us we're talking at the market still falling let me show you why our indicator it's being here at the overbought area so technically now us we need to enter in short now when me i'm registering that video is the right time for you to enter short for you to enter long what shall you do now that said it's going to change you came like that you see that dot here and that dot here. You're drawing a trend line and you're waiting the break to happen here. If it happen a break here, you enter long again. Remember those things. I give you all the scenarios to enter long and to enter short. Everything is too clear, guys. So that's it for that video. See you in another video. And by the way, please support us smashing the like button, writing down a comment. And if you could even share the video. See you in another video. Bye for now, guys.